So you don't like the styling of the default HTML select, but you're worried that you can't recreate its accessibility using React and you don't want to use a component library because it forces its own styling on you as well. So how about something like Headless UI, which will give you all the accessibility using its own custom components, but those don't bring you any default styling so you can style them in whatever way you like. Let's take a look. But first of all, like always, you're of course not going to need to install it using npmi at headless UI slash react. And while you're at it, you can also install the class names library, which we're going to use to conditionally render some styling on our components. And now what we basically want to do is we've got these options right here with React, Svelte, View, and Solid. We want to be able to select a framework using our own custom select and render all of the options inside of there. And to now get started, we're of course going to need to create a new file called select.jsx, which is going to contain all of our code. And here we can now just go ahead and say export default function and we want to export select of course and select is going to take a few props the first of which being our selected item so basically which item is currently selected so that we can display it then we want all of our options to be passed so that we can display all of our options separately and lastly we want an on select to be able to externally react to a selection inside of this thing and now we can actually already start by using our list box right here which is basically the version that Headless UI uses for a select. And the list box actually offers its own first prop already. And that is an on change event. And this on change is basically what we named as on select. So it will react whenever the value changes and pass the value to whatever function is ended here. And that's going to be our on select. Then next up, we can already create the button that is going to contain our title and that we're going to click to open the dropdown. And this is of course just going to be listbox.button and it only contains one thing which is a child in our case it's just going to be the selected item so basically a string and then when we click the button we of course want our options to appear and that's going to be called listbox.options so basically a conditionally rendered component that will contain each option individually and here we can now of course map over all of our options we passed as a prop so options.map and then for each option we will need to render the next element from this library, which is listbox.option. And now we of course need to pass a value for everyone to know that this value maps to this specific option. And because our options are just strings, so the names of our frameworks, we can just pass the option as a value. And then what's really cool is that this thing actually provides you with a child function you can pass. So basically we can add a little function right here that will take a few arguments that we can use to conditionally render stuff. For example, we can check, is this thing active? So is somebody actively hovering on it? Is it selected? So has somebody already selected? Or what's really cool, is it disabled? Because you can actually pass a disabled flag to this option as well if you wanted to, which we of course not going to do because it doesn't really help us. But you could do that for some conditional rendering if you wanted to. And now what we can basically do is we can put this into parentheses and then just tell it what we want to render. And in our case, we just want to render a div that contains the name of our option again. And now what we've basically got is the whole select. It doesn't really look all that nice if we now were to render it in here. So if we just go ahead and say, here's our select. It has an on select, which will just set our framework. It has a selected item, which is of course also just gonna be the framework. And lastly, it has options, which are just our options up here. And now if we just were to take a look at it in our browser, then we would see that it currently doesn't really look all that nice. And that's because no default styling is applied. So I'll just apply some default styling now. And as you can see, it already looks a lot nicer. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how I styled this because it's basically just class names, but that's not really the purpose of this library to copy my code because it's meant for you to be able to style your own components while still having full compatibility with all the accessibility logic that normally is supplied by the selects in whatever component library you use. What I just did is I added option and options and selected button as class names, then created a um, little CSS file and basically just added some styles. But as you can see, there are some optional styles here for active, selected and disabled that I didn't apply yet. And for that, we are going to need the class names library. And what we can now do is go to this div that we are rendering right here and just say this now uses class names. So the library class names. It takes in our default key option and then it can take an object that will basically be used for conditional styling. So what we can do is we can now say, okay, selected is selected. So basically the key to this object is always the style that should be applied and the value is whether or not it should render. So when this is truthy, then selected will be applied as a new class name. 
and the same of course goes for active and lastly for disabled all the conditional styles are applied and we now just text this out then we can see okay i can now select stuff by basically clicking on it it then becomes bold and if i highlight it it becomes blue and if you now also want to bring your styling to the next level then maybe check out this video where i'll show you how to use sass with react which will really improve your development experience while using css for styling do check it out and have a good day